We've added some new features to the number line. One feature is the capability of seeing the fraction using different models, as a decimal representation or using a decimal grid. I have already created five fractions using the default setting fraction tab. I have already added ticks to the number line by clicking on this arrow. I can now select and change the fractional representations to a variety of models by clicking on the tabs. The models change as the various tabs are selected. Any of these fractions can be dragged and ordered on the number line. Clicking on the decimal tab shows the number as a decimal, which can also be dragged and placed on the number line. Clicking on the grid tab will show the number as a decimal grid. If we want to see the fractions represented as a decimal once it is placed on the number line, we click on this button here. Now, as I drag the fraction on the number line and drop it in place, the decimal amount shows above the number line. If we want to see the decimal number as the fraction is being dragged along the number line, click the decimal action button. Now, as I drag the fraction, you'll notice that the decimal is shown above the line. These new features provide a dynamic learning environment in which students can develop an understanding that fractions and decimals are numbers which can be compared and ordered. They will be able to see that more than one fraction or a fraction and a decimal can name the same amount.